Catamounts earned the number one seed in the league championship on the final day of the regular season. Now they've ridden that all the way to hosting the America East Championship game as the one seed gets a 75-63 vic victory over UMBC here in the semifinals at Patrick Jim. Rob Ryan, Bernie Saplicki, you kind of dance with who got you here in the Catamounts. Had four of their five starters in double figures this afternoon to pick up this semifinal victory in advance to the final. It was a great win for the Catamounts today. UMBC brought their A game and gave Vermont everything they could handle. But the Catamounts find a, found a way time after time to withstand UMBC's runs and keep them at arm's length and come away with a 12-point victory here tonight on Tom Brennan's court. It was a five-point victory at the half, and the Catamounts pushed that out to above 10, and then they battled back to get within two. But the Catamounts were terrific in this contest. But so is Kara Bell, Defensive Player of the Year, getting a bucket there. But Emma Utterback, 21 points. She was sensational all afternoon long. To go with six assists and three steals, she was tremendous. The team for Vermont, 17 assists to only six turnovers while shooting 54%. But on the other side of the basketball, Keela Dixon, 21 points, scoring at every level was tremendous. But Vermont just found a way with Emma Utterback leading the way. Sustained against the pressure from UMBC in the full court. Bella Vito knocking down a big bucket. She's the fifth starter on this team, and she did all the little things in a victory today. She did seven points, eight rebounds. Anna Olson, 17 points, eight rebounds. Delaney Richardson, 13 points. Kathleen Gilwee, 11 points, four rebounds, four assists. Catamounts marching on. 16 consecutive wins for Vermont. They're now 8-1 and one in home semifinals. And for the fifth time in program history, they will host the championship game against the winner of Maine and Albany. A complete effort for Vermont today as they win by a final of 75-63 to 63 to set up a championship game. And this is the next logical step for this Catamount team to get to that level. It is 24-6 and six on the season. Coach Kresge has done a tremendous job with this squad. Be fun and a full house here at Patrick Jim on Friday at 5. ESPNU, 5 o'clock. He's Bernie Saplicki. I'm Rob Ryan. Catamounts win this one and are on to the final 75-63 over UMBC.